Okay guys, on a poultry farm, one of the most important things to remember is you either make time for maintenance on your equipment or your equipment will make time for you. I wanna to talk to you today about some tractor maintenance. This tractor has been being used the last few days with litter work inside poultry barns. Now, there's some important steps that you really need to do. There's daily maintenance and there's, there's maintenance that we do that's, you know, in between this, uh, certain intervals. So what I want to talk about right now is some things that's real important that when you leave those chicken houses that you should do. One thing is you want to make sure and get some of this dust out. You want to blow out your radiator, blow out your grills, make sure that, that you blow out your air filters and that your air filters are clean and ready to go. I found that one of these little tools is one of the best things that you can have. You keep that around your farm, super simple, super easy, and it makes that maintenance time a whole lot easier to do. I like having that. It makes things where you can, you can get to them a little easier and a little quicker. I keep one of these in the truck all the time so that we can, we can get out there and blow that out. Now, there's a lot of other little maintenance things that I want to talk about that are kind of poultry house specific. If you look around on the tractor, there's a lot of chicken litter in the floorboards, around the wheels, back here around the PTO shaft, it builds up. If you want to be proactive in your maintenance, right after you get through working with it, get out here and wash it off. Just simply wash the chicken litter away from these moving components. There's some things about it, especially around the PTO area and the axles where it's slinging up and getting onto the actual machine. If you'll come in and wash that off, it'll prolong the life of it for a much better process. That's some of the tips that I want to think about. I want you to remember that the better you do at taking care of your equipment, the better it'll take care of you. All right, we're here at the Sunbelt Ag Expo with JJ Lee from New Holland Ag. JJ, thank you for being here. So after somebody leaves a poultry house, we all know how dusty it is, debris, etc. What other maintenance tips in addition to that thing? Because a lot of people think, oh, I'm good. What else do you recommend uh, after they get out of the house? Well, the main thing, you know, when you're looking at it from that standpoint, is just making sure that your air pre-cleaners and inner cleaners are clean. Right, you wanna make sure that you're doing regular service intervals on those, uh, keeping all the dust out. You don't want anything getting foreign into the engine. So that is mission critical, right? I mean, it, you, good air in is gonna have good performance out. So that's one main thing. You just gotta keep those filters clean, keep that area nice clean. You know, and that's part of the year, the, the reason for having the reverse of the fan. That's just the biggest thing. Gotta keep the air clean. Perfect, so compressed air, blow gun, yep. get up in the engine, Get Very often. Absolutely, absolutely. I gotta keep it clean. Awesome. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, I'm with HUD Baldwin today. We're actually at the Sunbelt Expo down here in Moultrie. And um, HUD, you're yes, actually sir. with Walinga right now. What is, give me a little brief on Walinga. That's right. I work for Walinga. Yeah. We're a Canadian based company, um, two divisions to the company. We have a uh, truck body and trailer division. And then I work on the side where we uh, handle pneumatic conveying. Okay. So essentially, we're moving bulk commodity with air. So, all of our farmers, you can't you can't do chicken farm without a track. That's right. And so, what this we really want to focus on is maybe what are some things that maybe they don't think about or just need to be reminded on how to take care of your tractor, your wow. livelihood. Okay. Well, I think it's starting at the purchase of the tractor is going ahead and buying what you need. We I think we've all heard the term "buy once, cry once." Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. know. Yeah. Get and, it over um, with. And, and bigger isn't always better. Right. More weights isn't always better. Choosing the right tires and things like that. Going ahead and getting it right out of the gate. And from there, I just mentioned tires. Tire pressure yeah. you know, is really important for getting the traction to the ground. And as you move along, I mean, oil and, and the peripheral things that we use are really expensive these days and yeah. it hurts. But change the oil, change your filters, check those things out, grease, you yeah. know, and, and, and just solid uh, maintenance, especially with what things cost. And if you're doing the right thing, on a new tractor especially, moving through the warranty period, it's going to be easier to work with your dealer on it. Yeah. Hey, and if you've got an older tractor, go ahead and treat it right and do all those same yeah. things. It's really basic, just like your automobile. Yeah, because you want it to last. Oil may be expensive, the yep. maintenance may be, but not near as expensive. Oh, as engines repaired. will hurt you. Yeah. yeah, an engine will hurt you, no doubt. And yeah. you're out while yes. it's getting worked That's on. That's right, so. you're losing time, uh, losing money while you're losing time, yeah. and such like that. And also, one of the items that a lot of our equipment is using now is DEF, the diesel exhaust fluid yeah. is part yep. of the emission system. Know how to handle your DEF properly. 
okay. store it where it needs to be stored, have dedicated equipment for it, right. and make sure you're cycling through it regularly. Right. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what storage like is for DEF, but having it sitting around till the next season and all is typically not a good idea. Not good. Yeah, I'd okay. rather cycle through. It's like your fuel. Yeah. You know, just just keep it moving. Keep, keep it, it moving. moving. Yes, sir. Stuff like that. So mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, just kind of doing some basic maintenance. Mm -hmm. What about greasing and fittings and so, you know? You know greasing on there. time, using a quality lubricant for that, and sometimes now look in a lot of situations, over greasing can be yes. worse than none. Yeah, you know. more is not better. Absolutely, in a lot of situations, not a couple of pumps get you going. And, and maybe not so much in that market, but even like on some of the other equipment that's here, grain dryers, electric motors. Yeah. You know, you don't want to get an electric motor and just start pumping the gun, yeah. you know, and such like that. I think but, sometimes we think, at least I have in the past, like, well, I haven't done it in a while, so I really need to hit it to it. So a right. little more often yeah. is a lot better than this. Sometimes a little dab will do you, a right? A little dab will do you. <laughs> so cool. Well, all right, Absolutely. Hud. Well, thanks for taking the time with us. And um, remember, take care of that tractor so it can take care of you.